like this is Sergeant Pepper's We hope you will enjoy the show What's going on guys, JD here. As I said in my Man Behind the Dance documentary, I'm recording a lot of these back to back because I'm leaving on vacation soon, so I am wearing the same outfit. I don't just live in this Elton John shirt. Now, with June 25th, there are a lot of Michael Jackson things going to be in the news, so uh, we are talking about another news topic, kind of, and this is kind of an opinion piece on Quincy Jones, who I've talked about before and has gotten me a lot in a lot of trouble with you guys, the Michael Jackson fans. Uh, because back in 2017, a little backstory, well, I mean, even further if you're not too informed on the Michael Jackson story, uh, Quincy Jones was a longtime collaborator with Michael Jackson. Uh, he worked on Thriller, Bad and Off the Wall, he was the producer of all those albums, uh, and Michael Jackson, well, I don't really know the story, I just know they didn't work together on Dangerous, which I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments and say why they didn't work together on Dangerous. Now... Fast forward to Michael Jackson's passing and everything, Quincy Jones now has taken it upon himself to talk to the media about Michael, about the Beatles, uh, and about everybody he's ever worked with, and saying the number one thing that comes off of his head. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Uh, back in 2017, he did an interview, I don't remember who it was with, where he talked about Michael and said that he stole the bass line or the song, I don't really remember, uh, of Billie Jean with a Donna Summer song called, uh, I don't remember. She keeps a what was it? State of Independence, I think. And so I got on here and I was like, yeah, the bass lines are pretty similar and maybe he was inspired. I wouldn't say steal, but I would say inspired. And you guys freaked out on me. Uh, because I defended Quincy Jones, and I have now seen the error of my ways! Because for June 25th, Quincy Jones was going to hold a tribute concert, and the albums of Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad were going to be played back to back with an orchestra, guest appearances, and it was supposed to be this awesome thing to tribute his friend, Michael Jackson. But needless to say, uh, it did not happen like that at all, and it was a miserable fail, and we're going to be talking about it. So, um, everybody bought their tickets for this. Friends of mine bought tickets for this, uh, to go see it in New York at the O2, where my, where the Michael Jackson funeral was held, where This Is It was going to be held, um, and everybody was so excited, and then, like, a literal three weeks before the show, Quincy Jones says, oh, uh, you know that press release I put out that said what was going to happen at the show? Uh, forget about that. This is now going to be called Soundtrack of the 80s, uh, and it's going to be just random stuff I worked on. And so immediately, everybody asked for refunds, because we bought, we metaphorically, as Michael Jackson fans, we bought tickets for this show to see Michael Jackson content, and we are no longer, we're seeing some Michael Jackson content, but we're not getting what we paid for, and basically... The O2 said, no, you're not getting your refunds because Michael Jackson content is still basically uh, happening. Maybe it's not exactly what you signed up for, but bits and pieces of it are going to be included in the show, so it's not false advertising, and enjoy your show. And a lot of friends of mine showed up, and it was terrible. <laughs> so let me set the stage for you. Uh, when it comes to the guests, I read who was there. Um, nobody I recognized... But that's not, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. Just because I don't know them doesn't mean they could put on a good show. But that's not it. Uh, that's because people didn't know the words to the songs. That would be like me going to an Elton John concert, okay? I'm this performer, and I sing Tiny Dancer, okay? But I don't sing Tiny Dancer. <laughs> Hold me closer, small performer. Count the headlights on the turnpike. So yeah, overall it was just a fail. And another thing on the poster was that Quincy Jones himself was going to be there uh, and talk about unreleased stories from the recordings of these three albums, Off the Wall, Bad, and Thriller. That did not happen. I thought everybody was going to be upset because we took Michael's name over the thing because that's... And he also said a quote that's going to make me mad, 
and you mad. I can never distance myself from Michael, or he never can distance himself from me, so that's stupid. I don't want him to. I don't even know what else you've done besides We Are The World. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, your daughter is an amazing actor, uh, and I know a lot of things she's done, but when it comes to what you've done, besides Michael Jackson, I don't really know, dude. Michael Jackson was thankful. Should be, I was thankful for having Quincy Jones because without Quincy Jones, I don't think we would have had Michael Jackson because if Off the Wall wouldn't have been such a success that it was, we wouldn't have our Michael Jackson. We would have a Michael Jackson. Don't uh, misquote me on that. Uh, but we wouldn't have our Michael Jackson. Um, and to just be so arrogant with that, knowing you did that and being so arrogant about it rubs me the wrong way. And after the show, this poor, poor fan, this, oh my God, this poor guy had his thriller jacket um, and he encountered Quincy Jones and asked him to sign it. I don't have permission to play this footage, but I'm playing it anyway, and I hope whoever took it doesn't mind. Uh, and this is what happened with that encounter. Come on, come on. Shut up. Uh, is, is it funny? You're great. No. Please, just my jacket. I don't know why Quincy Jones is so dead set on going away or furthering himself from Michael Jackson. He has no reason to. He is so talented, and he just doesn't need to be arrogant like he's been being for a long time. And to just be an overall, I can't say this because YouTube would demonetize me, but a B-word to everybody uh, is not cool. It's not cool. And it's not cool to try to tribute your friend for money and then to not even give the audience what they asked for, uh, and to close up this story, uh, a lot of people are suing O2, the O2, uh, and Quincy Jones and the parties involved with this for false advertising, and we'll see what happens then, and I hope to get some of them on the show once that, uh, once that happens, and it's very well deserved, so, um, to further away from that story and just talk more about Quincy Jones himself, um, I have so much respect for the guy, and this video is not attacking him. I He's amazing. What The work he did on the three albums alone is amazing, and everything else he's done. I'm sure I'd remember some of the stuff if I, if I read word for word what he did. Um, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt that Quincy Jones has a place in history with a lot of my favorite people. Uh, just the other day, he was hanging out with Elton John. That's, that's awesome, and I just wish he'd be a nicer person to everybody else he encounters um, but I, I, I don't know. They, they always say don't meet your heroes because they're not what you think they'll be. And I think Quincy Jones is a, a perfect example of that. So as disappointing as this is to kind of denounce Quincy Jones and take away all the support that I gave him two years ago, uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I do think Quincy Jones, um, has acted very irrationally and is very rude now. And I really hope he picks himself back up and becomes a nice person. Um, I don't even want to say again, um, but I do know that he means he was um, a very big reason of why we had Michael Jackson, and I, we're forever in debt for him uh, for that, but um, I don't know. There's not a lot I can respect about the man nowadays. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can say. It's disappointing to say this, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. What are your guys' thoughts on Quincy Jones? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. For more, and overall, like always, you know, you gotta... Hold on there just a second, JD. I'm pretty sure you forgot to uh, announce something on the show, which I did. I forgot to tell you all that there is a brand new episode of my A Submarine That's Yellow podcast. What? I know some of y'all, very few of you, actually like it when I talk about the Beatles. Uh, there's a brand new episode that came out this week of me and my favorite person in the entire world, Freddie, reviewing the brand new Beatles movie that's out in theaters right now called Yesterday. You can see a struggling musician wake up after he gets hit by a bus and all the Beatles music is gone. And it's up to him to bring the Beatles back in the world. So, please go watch that. Rate it five stars on iTunes uh, and want to link it on Spotify, SoundCloud, it's everywhere. Just type in a submarine that's yellow. And that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, I really wish I would have said that and wouldn't have to be recording right now. But whatever. Back, back to regular me. Like always, you know, you gotta, you gotta make that change. Hello, this is Michael Jackson. Thank you so much for being here. More to come. Keep checking in. Hey,